Now, he just changed this slightly. And how did he do that? He, instead of a magnet, now he took a coil. Coil which was carrying current. Now look at the ways of the scientists. You should learn from these things. Since you are exploring, you are leaving nothing to chance. So what he did, he took a magnet, he moved it in, then he moved it out, then he flipped it, moved it in, moved it out, kept the magnet stationary, pulled the coil, hmm? pushed it in, okay, replaced the magnet. Hmm? Is there something about the iron in the magnet? Let us try to see. So, he replaced it by this coil and as we know a current carrying coil, suppose this will have, this will have a current in this direction and this will produce a field in this direction, is it not? It will produce a field in this direction by right hand thumb rule, right? What does it say? You, you understand the sense of it? It goes like this, the, the solid part is towards you, the dotted part is, part is away from you. So, so right hand rule says, right hand rule is a bit confusing and there are 200 right hand rules, right? Okay, right hand rule says that if the thumb carries the current, thumb of your right hand carry the current, the, the fingers of the right hand will curl curl in the direction of the magnetic field. Then it also says the reverse is also true. What? That means if the current is along the direction of the fingers, then the field is in the direction of the thumb. Okay. So, and obviously we know that it has to be a closed one, though I am not drawing it. So, so it is actually behaving like a magnet, right? And when he did the same thing, so so in experiment two, in experiment two, what he did, took a current carrying coil, in place of the magnet and when this was acting as north pole okay what we know that from the north pole the the field lines originate so here my north pole is this and my south pole is this sorry and my south pole is this and found that the behavior the behavior coincided with when we had taken a bar magnet the same when north was pointing to towards the left, that means nearer to the coil and we had pushed it in, we found that, what had we found? When the north was pushed in, we found out that the current was like that. So, so this is the direction of the direction in which this coil was moved, okay? Then we found that the current is something like this, okay? The same thing was observed here also, no changes, right? No changes. And, and then he moved, he kept this coil fixed and moved this coil. So again he observed the same phenomena that he again concluded that 
that the that it was the relative motion relative motion that led to the generation of current Yeah, it is. But you know, you know, this is an experiment going on, right? You never know. You never know what is going to happen. See, currently we know a huge amount about electromagnetic induction, so we are kind of fine. Okay, but you never know because had he known these things, he would have straight away not even conducted the experiments. Okay, so you kind of, uh, uh, you know, you you keep all the corners covered, everything, fine. Now, the more amazing is the next one. Hmm. The next one is more amazing. So, so this was actually behaving like a magnet. So, fine. Um, fine. So, so, he concluded that somehow it is the relative motion. If there is a magnetic field and there is a relative motion between the coils, then there will be, then there will be some, some current and that current is he called the induced current. It was not a current that was that was in the circuit that was induced by someone what, what is the what is the meaning of induce you know it is again a pure english word inducement huh? induce means what to influence okay the word induce means influence so it was an influenced current it was not getting generated from the same circuit it got influenced from this circuit correct or it got influenced by the magnetic field hmm? the scientists may not be so good at english but you will find they have chosen the exact words for for describing their phenomena so much so that it is it has become a technical word. How did you obtain the coil in that sense? Hmm? Coil? No, electricity was fairly advanced. No, coil as in a coil without a core. How did you make that? Without a core? No, no, it was obviously wound over some circular kind of thing. But there was no core into it. Co a coil without a core is an easy thing to do. No? Or even otherwise, these copper, copper wires, you can just keep on you don't put anything you just can hmm? um, you, you can you can wind wind it like a spring no issues <coughs> what he did in the third experiment was absolutely remarkable you know experiment 3 and all these 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 uh, Scientists, they always carry a diary, okay? Whatever they observe, they'll always write in their diary. Fine. Because they might not be conducting the same experiment again. But whatever phenomena they observe, they'll write it in a diary. Hmm? You'll find herds noting certain things in his diary. That led to that led to the discovery of electromagnetic waves. Hmm. So so the experiment 3 was absolutely remarkable this time he he again took a coil actually he he took a coil So, say this was my coil, okay, this was the galvanometer, this was the galvanometer, 
this time he decided something that was What he did, he put a key in this. Okay, there was of course this battery, and he took a strange decision. This time, he did not move any of them. Okay, so he didn't move. any of the coils and what he observed was again remarkable okay so so when he say i name this coil b and this as coil a when he switched on coil coil sorry b he observed he observed this time there was no movement the moment he switched it on again there was a deflection there okay when he switched on coil b there was a current in the direction shown and that again you will be able to tell yourself but right now it's me who is telling it the the direction of the current was this when there was a current in this like this there was a current in this coil when he switched it on the direction of the current was the direction of the current was like that understand in coil a obviously now when when the when the coil b was switched off when the coil b was switched off the current changed its direction the current changed its direction you understand now this time there was no relative motion and still <coughs> there was there was induced current so here there was an induced current even without even without relative motion you understand you understand the strangeness of the decision and the strangeness of the result and that's why they keep on doing so many things even when they are maybe sure then why not check and see is it not now our common sense would have said that had i not moved it i would not i should not have gone because is the experiment 2 told him that there has to be relative motion so why should, why was he doing this hmm so so you see and this will lead to a very very important conclusion later this experiment okay so these were the three experiments carried out by michael faraday before he he launched into the actual actual 
equation of what was happening. Okay. Understand? Now, when he came up with this idea, he told the people that he had found out electricity out of magnetism. People asked him, so what, so what is the use of it? Okay? And he gave a brilliant answer. What is the use of a newborn baby? Okay? An idea is an idea. It will find its use when it grows up. And later it was Nikolai Tesla who designed a generator based on that and it is that generator which is feeding electricity to all of us. The whole world is being lighted due to this small experiment done by this man. Okay? And the corresponding the, the, the following industrial revolution that was due to this one small, one small equation that we will write. Fine. So, so 